Hello and Assalamualaikum. We are from Group C. We present a nominal interest rate versus effective interest rate. First of all, let me introduce our members group. First is uh, Wan Mirah Nasihin. Second is No Husnawani. Uh, and third is No Farah no Para Yasmin. And then me, myself, No Shafira Amira. And lastly, our group member is Anis Sazwani. So what is nominal interest rate? Nominal interest rate is annual percentage rate, which is an interest rate that does not include any consideration of compound, compounding uh, interest rate quote based on annual basic. Uh, and then what is effective interest rate? Actual interest rate are paid in a year after taking into the compounding effect. Okay, so how to calculate effective annual interest rate? To calculate effective annual interest rate is EIR is equal to bracket 1 plus R over M to the power of M minus 1. So uh, basically R is nominal interest rate per year and NEIR is stand for effective annual interest rate uh, and lastly M is a number of interest period per year. Let's take a look about a nominal versus effective interest rate example. Uh, so basically the question uh, state that nominal rate of 18% per year compounded semi-annual. So the formula that we can use is EIR equal to bracket 1 plus R over M to the power of M negative 1. Minus 1 sorry. Okay so we just substitute the, the rate of 80% into the formula. So we get bracket 1 plus 0 0.08 over 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 equal to 0 0.0816. That's all from me. So let's take a look to the next question. Hi, I'm Lofra Yasmi Benti Muhammad No. I will explain example 1. As the question given is if a credit card charge 1.5 Percent interest every month, what are the nominal and effective interest rate per year? So we want to find the R, which is nominal interest rates per year. So we just multiply the R given, which is every month. So we have to multiply with the M, which is 12. So we just multiply 1.5% with 12 and we get 18%. Next, we want to find the F. Next, we want to find effective interest rates per year, which is EIR, by using the formula open bracket 1 plus R divided by M close with the power of M minus 1. So we just substitute the value from the equation and the R we got. So which is R here is 18%, the M here is 12, and we just substitute the value and we got the final answer which is 19.56% As we know that if at this interest rate is always higher than nominal interest rates That's all Hi, my name is Ramir Najin. I will explain example 2 The example 2 is You are comparing two saving accounts Account A and Account B Each offering different nominal interest rates and compounding frequency the nominal interest rates and compounding details are as follows. Okay, for account A, the nominal interest rate fee inter rate is 4% per annum and the compounding frequency is quarterly. And for account B, nominal interest rate is 3.5% per annum and the compounding frequency is monthly. So, we have to calculate the effective interest rate for each account. Assume that both accounts have no additional fees or withdrawals during the year. Okay, next, uh, we have to find R and M. R is shown as nominal interest rate in decimal form and M is shown as number of compounding periods per year. Okay, first we search the effective interest rate for account A. Okay, as we can see from the details, the value of R is 0 0.04 and the value of M is equal to 4. 
because uh, the value of m is equal to 4 is because uh, the compounding frequency uh, that been given is quarterly. That means it is 4. Then we substitute the information into the formula which is the formula for effective interest rate EIR is equal to bracket 1 plus R over M power of M minus 1. So we substitute the value for R and M and we can, uh, we can get bracket 1 plus 0 plus 0 4 over 4 bracket power of 4 minus 1. Then we solve the equation and we get 0 0.041 and we convert into the percentage we get 4.1 percent okay next we find for a combi so we from the details given we can conclude that the value of r is 0 0.035 uh, and the value of m is equal to 12 it is because the value of m is equal to 10 because uh, each the compounding frequency says that it is monthly. So we one year we have twelve month. So we conclude that the M is equal to twelve. So we substitute the value, the value into the the value of R and M into the formula effective interest rate EIR is equal to bracket one plus R over M power of M minus one. So we substitute the value of R and M, we get bracket 1 plus 0 0.035 over 12, power of 12 minus 1. So we solve, we get 0 0.036. So we convert into percentage, we get 3.6%. So for example 3, Julia needs to borrow money. Her neighborhood bank charge 10% interest compounded semi-annually while the in, an internet bank charge 9.9% interest compounded monthly. So, at which bank will Julia pay the lesser amount of interest? To calculate the effective interest rate, the formula is 1 plus R over M power of M minus 1. So, based on neighborhood bank information, the value of R is 0 0.1, which is 10% interest, while the value of M is 2 because of semi-annually. After we do the calculation, we get 10.25% amount of interest of neighborhood bank. Then, the information for the internet bank, the amount of R is 0 0.099, which is 9.9% interest and the amount of M is 12 which is compounded monthly. So uh, after we do the calculation, we get 10.36% of interest for the internet bank. So after we comparing the two results, we conclude that the neighborhood bank has the lower effective rate although it has a higher stated rate. Hi, my name is Nur Husnawani Binti Mazlan. So I will explain the last example, which is example 4. So the question given is, let's consider a bank offering a nominal interest rate of 5% per annum compounded semi-annually. So we know that from the question given is, the 5% is the nominal interest rate per year, which is R, um, while the compounding frequency M is 2 because of semi-annually. Information that we got from the question given, we can just simply put it into the formula. Effective annual interest rate, EIR, and then we can calculate it. And then the final answer is approximately... 5.06%. That's all from us. Thank you.